This is Annette, and today I would like to show you how to sew this checkered flannel scarf. To make the flannel checkered scarf, you will need three colors of flannel. The quantity you can find by going to our website that contains this scarf project. A quilter's rotary cutter, ruler, and mat, scissors, and as in most sewing projects, a sewing machine, iron, thread, and pins. To begin the scarf, we're going to be cutting the felt into strips. The strips will be two inches wide. We're going to begin with three orange strips, five black strips, and two gray strips. I'd like my scarf to be approximately 60 inches long, so I might have to cut more strips in the future as I'm going along I'll know later on. After the strips are cut, then you're going to be sewing them together. The first set that I'm going to sew together is orange, black, orange, black, orange. Now, of course, I'm using these colors. You can use whatever colors you want. Then I'm going to sew a second set together, and you're going to be using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And the second set will be black, gray, black, gray, black. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew these together. As I said, using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, I have them sewn together. Now the next step is to press the seams all in one direction. So just turn it over and begin to press it and make sure you're pressing them all in one direction on both of the strips that you sewed together. Okay, the next step is I cut off the selvage, and now you're going to subcut both the strips into two inch pieces. So you're going to cut the whole thing into two inch pieces, both of them. So I'm going to continue to do that and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay, now we're going to sew these together to uh, get the checkered effect and I'll just show you what it's going to look like. We're going to be sewing them together like this. see how you have a nice checkered effect all the seams are going on this one in this direction so you, you want to sew this one on with the seams going in the other direction that way you won't be sewing the seams on top of each other and you can pin them in place if you want or you can just butt them up against each other and sew them together. We're going to be using a quarter of an inch seam allowance to sew these together. Okay, I'm sewing, starting to sew these together, and I'm doing a technique that a lot of quilters do, is I'm going to just sew two units together at a time first. I'm not going to remove it from the machine and then sew the next one onto it. I'm going to first sew two units together as you can see what I'm doing right now. And then I'll take those units and then sew them together into four units and continue on until I have um, all these sewn together. At that point, then we'll see how long the uh, scarf is and if I need to add some or make some additional strips. I'm going to use black for my backing of the scarf, the backing fabric. And uh, right now, the scarf is eight inches wide. So I'm going to cut two strips that are eight inches wide from the black fabric. I'm going to sew these two pieces together so that they'll measure, well, they'll measure over 
the 60 inches that my scarf is now, I will sew the two pieces together and then I'll show you what to do next. When I sewed it, of course I took off the selvage and then I sewed it using a half an inch seam allowance. I, then I pressed it open. Now we're going to turn it over. We're going to find the middle of the scarf, which is right here. And we're gonna place it on here where the middle of the backing is. And I'm going to pin it all around. And then I'm gonna sew it using a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around, but I'm going to leave an opening of about five inches so that I can turn it right side out. And the opening, I'm going to leave it on one of the sides. So let me do that and then I'll show you the next step. After it has been sewn all the way around, remove the backing pieces that are still on there that are too long then turn it right side out through the opening. You're going to then press it and turn under the opening and then edge stitch about an eighth of an inch all the way around the perimeter of the scarf and this will also close up the opening when you do that. The flannel checkered scarf is finished. I bet you think I made this for Halloween, but I didn't. This is a gift for my grandson in his school colors, but it would make a nice Halloween scarf. I hope you enjoyed this project. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Pinterest Facebook, and Twitter. To follow us, click the links in the description section. Also visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other sewing projects, which most of them are free, and tutorials. Thank you for watching.